All right, we have not done a game room walkthrough in a while, so we thought we would come down here and see what's going on. We're out here in LaGrange, Kentucky, in our game room. It's called the Extra Man Arcade. And if you've never been here, well, you know, it's the place to be. You should stop by sometime. So let's start over here in the corner with Star Castle. Got this guy about four years ago up in Cincinnati, Ohio. Great little game, love playing this thing. Moving along, we have our Wreck-It Ralph poster. That could not be more fitting in more ways than you would ever know. And then in the corner, we have Frogger. Great game, great game. George Costanza helped make this game a little more famous. Let's see if we can get across her one time. Boom, boom, come on, baby. Oh, we got this. Look at that, look at that. Great game. Man, next to that, we have Gorf. Has some pinball glass up there. We really don't know what to do with it, so we stuck it up there. We're kind of tight on space down here, so. But we have a great looking Gorf. Love this game. Absolutely awesome condition. Love playing that guy. Next to that, had to travel all the way to West Virginia to pick up the cockpit pole position. Love this game, you stand behind your buddy while he's playing it and look through the glass and watch. Of course, I don't have any buddies, so this kind of doesn't do me any good. But, you know, if I had a friend, I could stand here and watch them play pole position. And it's really neat, got a great looking screen on it. Plays really well. In this corner, Moon Patrol. Moon Patrol has the high score save on it. I like getting high score saves because it saves your high score. And look at that. What a whopper, man. Who the heck is SJL? Look, I'm down there in third. It's my game and I'm in third. What a bunch of crap. All right, next to that, Wizard of War. Man, oh my gosh, the quarters that I put in this game. Jamie Barnes' father and me played this game a million times. Literally a million times until we got blisters on our hands. This guy here, we have Asteroids, 1979. Played this at the little convenience store out there on Overdale Drive. I'm sure everybody remembers that one. But uh, this guy's leaving tomorrow and more on why in a few minutes. Next to that, we have our Multicade and it plays about 400 games, I think. We'll see here if we can get it to cooperate. Exit, please. There we go. Uh, yeah, 412 games. And I think the one I like the most is Donkey Kong. I mean, who does not like playing Donkey Kong? Next to that, we have a little four game. Let's go bowling. Centipede, Missile Command, and Millipede. Looks like it's on some Missile Command right now. Well, you hit start button, pick your game. We're going to play Centipede, of course. And there you go, you play some Centipede. Nice game, nice game. Love it. Great looking screen. Really, really nice. Next to that, Dig Dug. I always wanted a Dig Dug. I looked everywhere for it. Never could find it. Go to a yard sale, and it's at a stinking yard sale. But it looks really good. Really good looking game. Plays good. Somebody put a million points on it. Not me again. Who are these people? Around to the other side, we'll go to Burger Time. And what a great looking game. I, I just love the, the way the side of this looks, the way the, the top of the cabinet is cut out to his, his little hat. I mean, get up. Burger Time. Nice looking screen. Uh, got this right over there in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Very close, very good pickup. Next to that, Asteroids Deluxe. So this is why we're getting rid of Asteroids. We got a little shine on there, and I apologize for that, but I can't help it. Uh, it plays Asteroids Deluxe. It also plays Lunar Lander, and it plays Asteroids. So we got the multi-kit and put it in there, so we don't need Asteroids, and since we're so tight on space, Next to that, we have our other Multicade on track and field right now. And we'll see if we can't quickly get out of here. 
and it plays a ton of games. What is that, 619 games? So, I mean, gee, many Christmas, pick a game, why don't you? Next to this, we have Pleiades. And, um, really like this game. Picked it up in Carrollton. Really good looking game and everything. We also changed this a little bit to where it plays both Pleiades and it has a flick of the switch and it plays Phoenix, which I like more, so I play it more. Love this music at the beginning, too. That is pretty cool. Next up is Robotron. Uh, got lucky on this one. A buddy of mine calls me, his name's Steve Amshoff, and says, Hey, I saw this arcade auction and I uh, thought you might be interested in it. And I'm like, well, what is it? And it turned out to be a Robotron that we got a really good deal on. And uh, gosh, I can't thank him enough. I mean, this game must have been in this guy's basement for like 25 years because it is dang near perfect. Not a mark on it anywhere around. Oh my gosh, would you be quiet back there. Next, we have Galaga. Another game. Picked this up at the same place we picked up this noisy Phoenix. And up in Carrollton. Uh, we stripped it all the way down to the wood, repainted it. Uh, new overlay. Great looking monitor. I mean, the, the thing is just as nice as it can be. Next to that, we have Big Brother, I guess, because see, he was 1981 and he was 1979, so he was two years older and not nearly as nice as you can see. Look at the screen here. Look how look how pure that looks with that, that how, how deep that black is. And you get over here and you have this gray look and it's because the monitor is horrible on this, but you know, everything in time, we'll get to it. But uh, the game itself is in also terrible condition. It was it was falling apart. We had to glue the whole thing. We clamped it and glued it together. The best thing on it is this is this control panel. I mean, it looks brand new. We just scrubbed on it with a little magic eraser, and uh, you know, really made it look better. And the front doesn't look horrible, but you know, it's nice having both of them side by side. And I love playing both of them. I really love playing. Galaxy and more. I was probably better at that, I guess. Here we have our open sign because, you know, we're open. Next we have from 1960 something Dodge City. Old pinball. You manually load the ball. Look at that. Got a little button there that pushes the ball up, shoots it. Little baby flippers. Nice. Plays good. Got some bells and stuff, and you know, old time pinball machine. Really cool. Next to that, we have Captain Fantastic. This is the newest game in the basement. And every time I turn it on, I get to work on it for some reason. Something breaks on it. But, you know, that's the way it goes. With pinball machines, if you buy a pinball machine, you're going to work on it. If you don't know how to work on it, you're going to learn how to work on it. Because it's going to break. Uh, these lights don't last forever. All this stuff doesn't work by itself. But this really really is a smooth playing game now. I mean, dare I say, Elton's back box has never twinkled so bright. All right, moving right along to the last, but certainly not the least game, Cyclone. Hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Step and right so, up. We have the winner. God, I couldn't do that in a hundred times. But I uh, bought this for Tanya. Hey, you. Step right up. Christmas. Yeah, right. I mean, I did. So it's hers, yeah. And uh, it gets a lot of play. It's, it's one of the more popular games down here. Of course, it's got uh, Ronnie and Nancy riding in the front seat of the roller coaster. And really, when I went to buy the game, that's what sold me out. When I saw that, I said, this is the one. I mean, there, the guy literally had 100 pinball machines. And I saw that, and I said, how much is this? And that's what I went home with. So that's it. That's our game room. So if you have never been here, and you probably haven't, you should stop by and play sometime. Because as you can see, it's not very crowded. There's no waiting in any game. So come on down, play all you want, play as little as you want. Stop by though, seriously, see us.